Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku. Bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update, Thursday, August 12th, 11 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The models are in, and it's showing heavy rain in all of the western U.S., even the southeast. Take a look at the Four Corners region, but no respite in the west where the fires are burning. But the big story... Dangerous record heat bakes the U.S. on both coasts. Holy macaroni. Keep calm. It's propaganda time. Climate change likely to boost North Dakota, Minnesota. Average temperature by 3.6 degrees, report predicts. Now, record-breaking extreme heat and cold events may result from similar physical processes, and we call that propaganda. Record-breaking June heat in North America was not man-made, according to many. In late June and early July, the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada experienced record heat. Canada experienced a record high of 121 Fahrenheit. This occurred against the backdrop of North Americans' warmest June ever. Many have attributed the heat to burning fossil fuels, which trap heat and warm the Earth's climate. What exactly happened here? Well, propaganda. And that is what we will show you tonight. Antarctic ice extent, second highest in recorded history as of August 8th, ever, all time ever recorded. The media is not reporting on this for obvious reasons. Antarctic ice extent approaching, yes, is the second highest in recorded history as of August 8th. The mainstream media not reporting on that. Now, from drought and derecho damage to losses from record cold temps last year, $8.5 billion in disaster aid passed the House Ag Committee. Has nothing to do with global warming or heat. Everything to do with derecho damage and cold. So what say you? Expansive heat waves, severe storms, keeping an eye on Fred. That's what the National Weather Service says. A widespread and expansive heat wave continues to affect less than 50% of the U.S. from the northwest to parts of the Mississippi and Ohio Valleys. The rest of the country is well below average in some areas record cold, like the southwest here. Arizona, 15 degrees below normal. New Mexico, 15 degrees below normal. The Four Corners region, up to 20 degrees below normal. But they didn't tell you that. I did. Wake up call. Tropical Depression Fred is coming to western Florida. Heads up, Anthony. That's my brother. He lives here in Estero Bay. And it will be approaching as a tropical storm, potentially a Cat 1, in my opinion, uh, that they don't know what they're talking about. But we predicted... Two weeks ago, this track would hit western Florida. And it's, well, exactly as predicted. Now they're predicting it's a tropical storm all the way up, but we say it reorganizes here after the Florida Keys and becomes Cat 1 somewhere near Bonita Springs. Ding, dings. Be prepared, not scared. Polar cold blasts Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Brazil corn output slashed after historic freezes as Portugal suffered colder than average July. Who's lying? Code red for humanity. Here come the climate lockdowns for the good of the planet. Now, the IPCC's latest climate report is as anti-science and anti-human as any publication could be. Reject it at all costs. It has nothing to do with you CO2, or facts, and it is certainly the least scientific publication ever in human history, but everyone will adopt it. Like a fairy tale with green eggs and ham, climate change causes Russia sand dunes to sprout. <laughs> okay, we must all be burning up. Don't be afraid. The UN's climate report is a politicized debacle. Climate Change Dispatch. Hello. Every year, like clockwork, starting in late July and running through November, 
mainstream media all around the world starts hyping the message. Your sinful use of fossil fuels to heat or cool your home, cook your food, power your car or truck, make and market in use of your food, clothing, shelter, communications, trans- transportation, healthcare, and other things that keep you alive and healthy will make the world overheat and you'll be sorry. We told you. And therefore, pay your taxes. Strong quake strikes Philippines. No tsunami threat. And this is not the only large quake in the last 48 hours. We have a huge event here down in the South Sandwich Islands with thousands of quakes after the largest quake in months hit just hours ago. And that was a 7. Let's see where they downgraded it. Let's get to the beginning of the 7.5 still up on the charts. It was a 7.6 on inception, but hundreds of earthquakes later, we now know it's a 7.5. And two of the largest earthquakes in months have affected almost nobody, which is good news. Three volcanoes are erupting simultaneously in Alaska, another place where no one lives. Mount Etna is 100 feet taller than it was six months ago when we started reporting on the 55-plus paroxysms that have occurred since the inception of this new cacophony of quakes and eruptions on the mountain. And if you want to correct me for the use of cacophony, well, you can, can suck it, period. Worldwide Volcano News Update, Fuego, 16,000 feet, Reventador, Novados de Chilan, and many others puffing and passing to their similar attitudes, Chivalouche hitting 17,000 feet, just hours ago, seven Kaya to 22, Fuego to 16, and so on and so forth. Nothing spectacular to, to report on. Merapi has had a, quite an uptick, but we've been watching that. So that's all you need to know. Global warming begets more warming, new paleoclimate study finds. Well, they didn't find much. And as a paleoclimatologist, I can pick this apart like a fart. I mean, it is, well, what they said is it was warmer in the past, paleoclimate. Yes, you're correct. But in the last 5 million years, we've been in in an ice age. And all of your studies are moot to boot. Climate change will transform cooling effects of volcanic eruptions, study suggests. They're saying that even though we're going into a, a cooling earth, volcanic eruptions won't affect us much. No. Well, they actually claim that we're going into a warming earth, so moderate eruptions don't cool the earth because we're heating so quick. Tick, tick. <laughs> Ding, dong. A NASA scientist explains why the weather is becoming more extreme. It's all your fault, and we've used propaganda to scare you. Unintended consequences of the mRNA vaccines against the Wu flu are showing that, well, they're highly unintended. Read the article. New car- carnivorous plant discovered in North America. Yes, it's not the Venus fly trap, but it certainly balances trapping prey and being pollinated. If you land on the stem, well, it could be death to you. Botanists at the University of Wisconsin Madison and the University of British Columbia have discovered that vegans are actually eating animals and they're totally full of shit based on this article, period. Well, and the fact that Matt Powers and I talk at length in how all plants are eating actual animals. Bacteria, yes, there are people too. American kids get two-thirds of their calories now from ultra-processed foods because they don't believe a word that Diamond and Matt Powers say on their podcasts. In fact, they think that the powers that be know exactly what children want. Yes, the global warming goodness and the diabetic destruction of their future. Geochemical constraints of the structure of the Earth's deep mantle and the origin of the LLSVPs. Now, if you've been wondering what the schmucktard over at that other channel has been talking about when he says LLSVPs and he thinks half a million people know what he's talking about, well... You're on the same page as we are. Now, (laughs) 
the LLS VPs are potentially, well, a crucial role in the dynamics of the lower mantle and act as the source region for deep-seated mantle plumes, which could tilt the earth off its kilter and also lead to huge surficial flows of magma in the near future. So it's something you really should learn about. And these are low, large, low shear velocity provinces, which geochemically are unexplainable, except that we use seismic data and other inference models to image them. And when we're looking at them, we can see they're emanating from the core and not actually the mantle. So there are some really huge problems with deep earth uh, geology, deep earth geochemistry, and in fact, the whole nature of our magnetic field and the inner and outer core, Al Gore Zahor. Shape-shifting fish that confounded scientists for 100 years spotted off the California coast. And it looks like Extinction Rebellion outfits, in my opinion. Well, it's just a fish. Or is it? It could be Satan himself. Beam instruction manual. Beamcompost.com. Biological inoculants. Not compost at all. Beam is the number one product in the world that can improve crop output, soil health, well, and your general well-being. Get the Beam. Click on the link below to become a Beam affiliate and to buy your own Beam for a, a boom. Crestone Energy Fair coming up my birthday weekend, August 28th to the 29th, 19850 Camino de Oro. In Crestone, which is not actually Crestone, it's outside the city, self, village, and nature. Let's reconnect. We will be supplying you with free seeds, free permaculture knowledge, free seed-saving information, and any other questions you have to give us. We're going to be rapid fire at the event, multiple tables. We're only going to be there on the 29th. That's it. The 28th is my birthday, and we have previous plans. But I will be speaking the evening of the 29th from 5 to 7 p.m. in a special tent allocated only to Oppenheimer Ranch Project supporters. There will be heavy security at the door. So feel safe in coming to the program. Actually, there's no security whatsoever. And we hope you didn't take the jab and you ate lots of zinc and vitamin D before you got there. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the dystopian world that we are, well, unraveling at Reconnect Self, Village, and Nature. If you think everything you've experienced over the last year or year and a half is complete nonsense, well, come over to the tribe and learn how to survive and thrive and be alive in the days, months, and years to come where the corporatocracy is killing us killing humanity. It's dividing us and we need to reconnect and come together. Yes, we need to come together as self, village, and nature. The Crestone Energy Fair continues to be a tradition in the San Luis Valley for over 30 years. The longest continuous energy fair on the planet. Come see us showcasing innovative ideas around construction, energy, and regenerative living. And if you show up on the 28th, you can do the home tour where all alter alternative construction is happening. We're talking earth bags, hempcrete, earth ships, pit houses, and more. If you want to build a house out of poop, well, join us the last week weekend of August at 19850 Camino de Oro, Crestone. And we will share with you the finest free cannabis that we can give you. Well, we're going to also have a, a farmer's market there. We're going to be shelling, selling all Oppenheimer Ranch Project produce, including heirloom, squash, heirloom, potatoes, heirloom. Well, 
You better show up or you'll miss out. Welcome to the 32nd annual Crestone Energy Fair. Be there or be square. And that's a boom. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And that's all we have to say. Hey, hey. Thanks to our one-time donors, our five new Patreons. You just picked up the slack. Well, kick it up, please. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to the heroes that share these videos. And we'll see you soon in the morning. I hope so. Ding, ding, ding.